Uh, another one by Weston and Wade. Um, some, uh, some people thought that it would have been written by John, John, John R. Hartley, who wrote The Clock Almanac, because he, wrote, he, had, he did a book called, uh, wrote a book called Yorkshire Puddin. But no, it was, um, it was Weston and Lee. They, people buy the book and look through it and they think, oh, it's not there. But, um, yes, um, where does the story come from? Yes, you have to decide for yourself. Waitress, just a minute. No, I'm not finding fault. The potatoes are lovely, the beef's all right, but what sort of pudding's this? It's what? Yorkshire pudding, you say? It's pudding, I'll grant you. Some sort of pudding, but not Yorkshire pudding. Nay, hey, nay. The real Yorkshire pudding's a poem in batter. To make it an art, not a trade. Now listen to me and I'll tell you how first Yorkshire pudding was made. A young angel on furlough from heaven was flying above Wilkley Moor. And the angel, poor thing, got a cramp in a wing. He came down at an old woman's door. And the old woman smiled and said, hey, it's an angel. Well, I am surprised to see thee. I've not seen an angel before, but thou's welcome come in for a nice cup of tea. Well, the angel said, thank you kindly, I will. Well, she had two or three cups of tea three or four Sally Lunds and a couple of buns. Angels eat very lightly, you see. <laughs> then the old woman looked up at the clock and said, by gum, it's Joan from Millie's, my dam. You get on with your tea, but you must excuse me, I must make pudding now for old man. The angel jumped up and said, give me your wool flour, what eggs, salt and all. And I'll show you how we make pudding in heaven for Thomas and Peter and Paul. And the old woman think, gave her the things and said, Hush, and the angel covered her wings. And tenderly she tickled that meat stewish spoon like an artist paints with his brush. She worked on that mixture with heavenly magic. She played with that spoon on the door, just like Rubenstein would play the piano, or Ifix would twiddle his ball. And the old woman said, I reckon, dear angel, them clouds which I see in young sky, so fleecy and foamy, is better for pudding for saints feasting in paradise. It's stirred in the rain and it's mixed in the rainbow and baked in the beautiful sun. And the angel kept stirring and smiled as she answered. And when the star drops, it is done. But joking aside, said the angel, the secret of pudding made here or above is not in the flour or water, but in the mixing. See that you mix it with love. And when it were done, she put it in oven and said to old woman, goodbye, and flew away. Leaving the first Yorkshire pudding that ever was made. And that's why. It melts in the mouth, like the snow in the sunshine. Just like a maiden's first kiss. As soft as the fluff on the breast of a dove. Not elephant, let her like this! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>